together this is going to be a collective reading and I think there might be and I'm not positive we'll see the further along we get there might be an extended intimate reading that we do with the sexual tarot magic deck we might because I'm sort of feeling that but I don't always know that yet till I kind of get in the cards honey today is 10 10 2020 the number 10 carries with it the vibration of completion I think there's a lot of completion that has happened recently and will be for the duration of the month. So completion of huge karmic cycles, sure. Closing things up, look at this, breaking free, letting things go. What I love is that in this particular card, you have the octopus. And the octopus is a card of, I can't see, right? But it's just intuitively, because the octopus doesn't necessarily have eyes. It, it uses its third eye, right? Very psychic, very intuitive. But the thing of it is, is that the octopus does this. And it, it's sort of, it's just, doesn't have boundaries. And it can kind of get like in everything. So whether this is you breaking free from somebody that's like the octopus, or you're the octopus breaking free of something. You also have mystery. Something's a secret. I think what's a secret is what's coming next. I kept saying that for like the past week, nonstop, I kept seeing, you know, Alice in Wonderland references and very heavily seeing quotes from Alice in Wonderland. And a quote that I use all the time that you guys have probably heard me use often is the quote, how long is forever? Alice asked White Rabbit. And White Rabbit said, sometimes just for one second. And why would they keep showing me that? And, and other Alice in Wonderland quotes, I don't know. I don't know, but I posted it on my Instagram today, xi underscore missy underscore xi. Follow me there. And really what I was feeling is that a lot of times we want to put a time period on things well i don't want to do this if it's, if it's not going to be long term well i don't want to do that if i'm not going to marry him well i don't want to do this if it's, if it's that what if forever is not a length of time but it's a feeling because sometimes forever can be literally one second in that one split sorry about that my phone got cut off because of the storage Oh, so I had to go in there and like delete a bunch of things and move some stuff around. Anywho, the lighting looks a little different, it's why. Okay, so we're talking about the Alice in Wonderland quote, right? How long is forever? Sometimes just one second. And are we talking about actual time? No, because time is an illusion, right? But we are talking about the feeling of forever. You also had contentment and light. Some of you guys need to be a little more in the present moment. Stop worrying about what's coming. What does it entail? How long is it going to last? It's about being in this moment. Forever is about little moments, what if, right? Like one second, two seconds, two weeks. Being super happy and at peace where you are and stop worrying about how far along more do I have? Well, I'm not there yet, but you sure as fucking there. I may not be where I want to be, but I sure as fucking where I used to be. Light. It's very star energy, aqua, Aquarius, being the light, you know? The light is truth. The light is authenticity. It's awakening. It's also healing. Some of you are encountering people and have been the past few months, really big part of your soul tribes. Um, you know, your vibe attracts your tribe. But also it has to do with the fact of you're attracting in people that are sort of like helping you during this very last tail end of your healing, they're kind of there to help heal you, heal in, in, in some way. Whether it's because they provide the healing in some way, because they are a healer in the aspect of Reiki, of, I don't know, alternative healing, um, spiritual life coach, psychic tarot reading, I don't know. Or is it that there is someone there that energetically 
helps to heal you. There's this healing aspect of it. And it, they come in at the very last second during this tail end, and it's to help finish you get to that next level. Separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. This is what's coming to an end. Today is 10, 10, 2020. It's the end of this. However, that's gonna work for you. Whether this is because of the sheer simple fact that you're going to finally be meeting your soul tribe, friends. They don't always have to be romantic. Soulmates can be non-romantic. My grandma was one of my soulmates. I have a cousin who's a soulmate. She's a girl, she's a Cancerian. My daughter is one of my soulmates, my brother. You know, these are people that we have extremely close connections with because you just know that they, they just, you've had many past lives with them. You have mental telepathy with them and it's just this really strong connection. Um, bringing in your soul tribe, whether it's romantic or non-romantic, right? But it also is love. It just is. It's, it's a romantic connection. You have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So it's not being so... up your ass, up your own ass, meaning not being so square and stuffy about things, okay? It's about being lighthearted and fun and laughing, being more in the present moment instead of worrying about how far along you still have to go. It's great to know that you have goals and these are this is what I envision, but if you're so fucking worried and consumed by how far more you have to go, then you are completely missing out on where you are in this present moment and something tells me you're in a pretty great fucking spot right now make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take and heart-to-heart -heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other so you are going to be guided together with friends with romantic interests right there's this leading you there the internal compass takes you there there's going to be a lot of heart-to-heart -heart conversations putting it all out there. This is how a lot of the healing is going to happen. Through conversation. Through speaking and relating to each other and finding you have so much in common. Sorry, I got self-conscious instantly. Hold on. Oh yeah, we're clear. I just realized I had a chocolate tartlet right before this and there was blueberries in it. And you know, sometimes when you eat blueberries, the skin just gets all in your teeth. I was like, oh, I didn't even check. Sorry about that. <laughs> I mean, hello, thousands of people watch this and I don't want people to be all distracted because it's like, what's in that bitch's teeth? Okay, so <laughs> having these honest conversations with each other, I feel like is really gonna open up. It's, it's this vibration of healing, getting it off my chest. <sighs> Releasing it, letting it go talking to people that you can relate to people that have been there done that and they're like oh my god i've been there too yeah i can relate you know what happened you know this or or speaking to people that just get it even if they've never been through it they just get it it's like speaking to, and connecting with people that's like they just get you you know they just get you you also have to pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. I think that's for those of you that are clamming up. I mean, it was one of the things that I've been warned of for at least two years. Missy, don't clam up. Because I clam up when it's like really great. It's really wonderful. I'm going to fucking clam up. Because I'm an air sign. I'm an Aquarius sun sign, you know, and I'm also a Capricorn moon. I'm going to clam up. Because it feels too good to be true because oh my god i'm out of control it's 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 it's, it's uh, when someone comes into our life and we put our guards down and we're vulnerable you know what that means that means they have they have some type of control because when no one's in my life this means that nobody can make me feel sad because i control that right it's me that controls feeling sad it's me that feel can what my child is doing it's it, the you you i can't even articulate you see how nervous i just get even talking about it about giving someone control over like that it's frightening even to talk about but i think that we're coming to this 
point in our life where we've really earned these beautiful connections and these these beautiful opportunities and I know this and I, I tell myself this all the time that when something good comes across my path now whether it's business or whether it's personal I say thank you I deserve this I do deserve this and and it's I am not gonna clam up but that doesn't mean I don't clam up for a little bit okay that don't mean that we don't for a split second freak the fuck out okay nobody's saying that we're human we're stuck in these muggle meat suits but it's about at least us being self-aware it sometimes feels too good to be true something flipped the ship going places adventure vehicle vacation trip travel overseas enterprise and movement so for some of you this is obvious it's a trip going somewhere right movement it's an adventure this is like an adventure this second phase or this new phase or this new book and it's unknown and it's kind of scary and it's like oh my god I've been waiting for the new to come and it's like now that it's here it's like don't fucking clam up oh the ship came in so don't go and hide in your house like if the ships came in go outside and see what's in the ship what what came on the ship and it also speaks of like far apart too so some of you guys could be far away from each other there's distance there's movement though the ships are coming in the lighthouse it says warning beware that's the red flags for some of you let's just uh, let's get this shit out of the fucking way already for some of you there are red flags in a relationship or connection it's obvious your vibes tell you you get weird vibes from them they they're they, they want only sex they only want you for your money or your looks or something just doesn't feel right it, it's fucking uh, uh, it's a red flag it's obvious abc's one two threes we're not entertaining it some of you are making up red flags you're climbing up and you're getting a little If it's a red flag, it's a red flag. Okay. If it's not a red flag, it's not a red flag. Okay? <laughs> and trust me, I'm taking my own advice here. Cancer, the chariot. Movement forward. It's a nurturing energy. You, you feel comforted by this new soul tribe that you've called in or this new relationship. And for some of you, it freaks you the fuck out. That's the red flag. The red flag is, ooh, it feels too safe. Ooh, it feels too comfortable. Ooh, they feel too much like home. Because you're still used to turbulent waters and what, things being shit and shallow. Remember, you deserve this. You've earned it. The broom. Unpleasant, repetitive. It's unavoidable unwanted tell me about the broom strength it's a leo and the garden public going out on dates uh, the dating thing didn't work out some of you guys did the dating thing see i can't be a, a casual dater everyone knows this about me if you've heard me talk about it i can't i can't do it i can't just go casually date Oh, let me just go get coffee. Oh, let me just go for a drink. I cannot do that. I tried during the summer because spirit guided me to do this for a month and a half. I tried online dating and I did meet a couple of decent people. I never met up with not one of them because it was during a fucking pandemic. I did meet one that seemed like he was of great potential. He ended up being a major fuck boy. I did not have luck on that. And I said, this is why I've never done online dating in my life. This is why I don't like to do that. And it is also a big factor of why I don't like to just put myself out there and casually date. I don't know. I just feel like it's, I just, it's just not for me. You also have the road, multiple choice. It's travel again, deciding, weighing out the options, opportunities. Uh Oh, the rider is flipped. You have travel again, messenger movement message a visitor green light and progress so this is like forward progress go there's something that's coming in and this, this that's travel three times 
travel three fucking times. So somebody here travels a lot or you're gonna have to travel to see each other, however that's gonna work. Okay, so some people, yeah, their, their job entails a lot of traveling, right? But for some of you, this is you, wouldn't it work that way? <laughs> you fall in love with somebody who's not in your neighborhood. You have the owl, seeing through the facade, secrets lifted, wise, old and wise, yeah? The owl is very observant, it's, it, it's just aware. I feel like one of you is super, super, super aware and the other one's becoming aware. So one's like really, really, really woke and the other one's like getting there. That may be what the other one is there to help to do. I mean, that's we're, we're basically all walking each other home. That's what Baba Ramdas says, right? He said, we're walking each other home. That's what we're doing. You have the snowflake. It's an extremely exquisite, unique thing. And it's different, but it's perfect. It's something's really different, but it's perfect. Like like the like the snowflake. It also talks about an intricate code, right? It's something that's really detailed. The child, new beginnings, innocence, creativity. You also have the island, foreign affairs, separation. I'm telling you, the separation is no longer spread out, lonely. These are people like this. So whether this means it's because of distance, physically, you guys are really far apart, or you guys live in the same neighborhood, but you're emotionally far apart, but it feels like distance, or somebody has to travel a lot. They travel far distances. You also have the stallion. It's breaking free from something. It's really strong emotions. It's desire. It's sexual energy. It's motivation. It's drive. What it is is that it's something breaks the camel's back. And I, I talked about this recently on one of my lives on Instagram where I was doing the sexual tarot magic deck and the 10 of wands came out and it's my favorite card in that deck. And that's the card where it's just like they can't even contain themselves anymore. They're just like fucking in the bushes or something like in the park or whatever because they just can't contain themselves. And that's what this feels like it feels like we are just going to we're gonna go slow or I'm not feeling anything I'm not I don't want anything I'm not doing this I'm not do I'm nope I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna do it and then it just sort of like grows slowly or quickly that will be different for each person it sort of starts out innocent with like like with the child energy, right? It starts out innocent, but then it just sort of it wasn't meant to be innocent or something for some of you. Like I said, you got to use discernment because we're meeting a lot of people that are in our soul tribe that are non-romantic, but then you're meeting some that are potential romantic. So it's like you've really got to be able to tell the difference. And I think that this was like, no, 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 it's not. No, it wasn't. No, it's not. No, it wasn't. No, it's not. But then it's just so magnetic. We're definitely going to have to do an extended after this. The tornado. I told you something was brewing. It literally says storm brewing. It says a sudden unexpected end, a breakdown, over and done, end, destroy. There could be an ending to this. Well, let's hope not, but it could be part of chapter four, dramatic ending. And then you guys come back together, right? The separation doesn't last for very long. But I'm gonna be honest, I don't think that there's an ending for those of you as far as the connection goes. What I think the ending is, is it's the end of what it started off to be. Does that make sense? It's the end of that. It's a motherfucking storm. You know how you can like feel it? You can feel it in the air. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh, Lord. I said change is coming. Yesterday I woke up. First thing I saw in my head, change is coming. That's why I did the video. Change is coming. I've been waiting for this moment all my life. Oh, Lord. It's the mother. Waxing quarter moon. Ripe. Fertile. 
fulfillment, stability, powerful compassion. It's time. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's time to pick the fruit, honey. It's time. Change is here, honey. What is this? Holy fuck, it's the grasshopper. Leap of faith, easygoing, prosperity. So what? Don't worry. Moving on. Birth of a son and luck. So some of you are definitely going to have a baby with this person, and it is a boy. Some of you, you're going to find that there's extreme luck. What is it? Luck or alignment? Taking a leap of faith here, that's you not climbing the fuck up. Even if this has nothing to do with love and this is a job. Don't climb up. This month, at the end of the month, we have well, the month of October in 2020, there's two full moons. The full moon that we have at the end of this month on Halloween happens to be a blue moon. You ever heard that? Once in a blue moon? Some opportunities are once in a lifetime. Don't fuck it up. People say, uh, oh, you can't fuck up what's for you. Bitch, you have free will. Yeah, well, I see when what they say about that when it's like in one breath. But in the other breath, we have free will. And if something is for me and it comes to me, I can fuck it up by turning it down and not accepting my blessings. So, you know, they gifted us with free will and it is a blessing, but it's also a curse in, in some aspects. Let me just get a couple cards and we're going to head into this extended. And again, if you are not 18 and over, do not purchase the extended. Or if you are not comfortable with sexual images, because we're going to be using the sexual tarot magic deck. You have the princess of pentacles. There is something that is coming in. It's coming in at the perfect moment. Patience was a damn virtue. Temperance. Sagittarius. You also have here the two of swords and the seven of wands. See, what I'm afraid of is... I'm afraid I'm going to get hooked to this and I'm going to get stuck to this and it's going to fuck me up. So instead, I'm going to clam up and I'm going to be on the defense and I'm not going to let it in. I don't want to be friends with you. I don't want to meet new people that are going to make my life better. I don't want to meet my soul tribe. That's clam This is clamming the fuck up because I'm afraid to get hooked into it. Here we go. All right, so if you want to purchase the extended, click on the link below. Um, also, actually, um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I think we discussed that, xi underscore missy underscore xi. If you have TikTok, follow me there. It's the same handle as my Instagram handle. Wow, look at that. The Two of Pentacles, you have abundance here. It reminded me instantly of an hourglass. It's time. Eight is the number of abundance and infinite, in, the infinity symbol. It is the beginning and the end. The end is the beginning. Um, I no longer, well, temporarily, I am temporarily not accepting any more personal reading requests until I catch up. I am super overwhelmed, so let me work on those. Those of you waiting for your personal reading, whether it's recorded or live, thank you for your patience. I'm working on them. Um, and yeah, if you want to purchase this, click on the link below. I think that was it. Oh, thank you for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. I love you guys so very much. Au revoir. Sayonara. Ciao.